Hi guys, Kelly here. So, my hair is a little weird. That's okay. I need to shower. I haven't, I think, I think it's been like two days. That's okay. I can't shower every day. Like, I don't know. It's just something weird about me showering. I can't do it every day. Anyways, so I did an eye look today with my Athena palette from uh, Bad Habit. So, um, and... Every, the colors are great so we're not gonna go into the color the consistency blah 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 because I have already said that everything in when I did the Fantasia palette and I talked about it it's the same formula the same uh, not colors but this is the color story in this one so um, I just wanted to put that out there but I was originally going to do my makeup, my eye look, with uh, some Wet n Wild, because um, I love me some Wet n Wild, we know this, my, my brows, my lips are all usually Wet n Wild, um, I used to use their felt tip liners, I just haven't because, I haven't bought, repurchased it because, um, oh, what is that, uh, Ipsy keeps sending me other felt tip liners and I keep using them, so... Why buy when you don't have to? Correct, correct. Save cash where you can. Uh, so, I wanted to mimic a look from these, well, that I got from these, and I mimicked it with this to see, to compare. Um, you probably can't tell, but I am going to bring you a little closer here, or I'm going to knock you over and knock everything else over. Uh, but... So here is the Wet n Wild eye. Uh, you can kind of, it's really light and stuff like that. And then this is the the Divine, or the, the Athena palette. So they're both a lot alike in the fact that they're uh, soft pastel purple colors um, and stuff like that. However, I had a really hard time, a really hard time, uh not blending or anything that's not the the problem is is that the finger swatches with these and the foils with these are great so here is some of them you can't really tell but here right this one right here is all air which is this wet and wild palette right here and they're great and here is um this is really the best one that you can see right here. This is the fire one, and look how beautiful that is, even with... So, these are finger swatches, this is a brush swatch, and this is it foiled. Um, that goes all the way down. So, you can see, like, the fire one is excellent. It, it did everything that I needed it to do. Uh, the other one, right here, which you can barely see, that is all... This one right here, I think. No. This one, yeah, these ones right here. Those are all from this uh, air palette, right? Yes. Yes, this is air. <clears throat> so, and these are from the Zodiac line. And then I have some of the blue ones, right, or some of the water ones right here. I didn't do a very good job. And then I went, and before I did these swatches, I went and did these. These are the quads that you get from the Fire and Ice. Because I had a really hard time with this purple right here. It would not... I had to literally scrape off. Because it like had gotten like smooth. Like plastic. And I couldn't get it on the brush. So I had to take a metal thing and scrape it off. And that hasn't happened to anything else. So um, these are great foiled and using your fingers. Uh... This is great for all things above. This is this one right here I love. Um, and I'll probably do a look out of that one. The darker shades of this one are really good. But this one, for anything but foiled, I wouldn't use it for. It It's not very good. Unless you use your fingers. But using a brush is just almost... I had such a hard time with. Now, remember that I don't use the best brushes. I'm not the best. I, I'm not... I'm a makeup artist simply because I, it's an artistic endeavor that I use 
for my face. That's the best, you know, I don't know the best techniques. I don't know, you know, how to work with different eye shapes. I can barely work with my own eye shape. So just that is my disclaimer. Um, but these right here are great. I have them on my hand right here. Um, here is this one right here. Now, like I said, I had to dig into this one to get that purple shade. Here is Dragon Oh no, wait, yeah, no, Dragon Scales is right here, which is beautiful. Uh, here is this fire one right here, and then here is the Knights, whatever. Yeah, Knights Quad. So. And this one right here is this red-ish one is called for fit for a queen. Now, of course, it does tell you that you can use that it has like transition, brow bone, eyelid, crease. You don't have to follow any of that. You do whatever you want. Uh, they're just suggestions. So now that that is said, I have a problem. Is this so? Does anybody else have this? This is the e.l.f. setting spray. Or it's makeup mist and set. Um, and it does something really weird. So I have my... I have four different setting sprays. I have my e.l.f. I have my Wet n Wild. I have some from Koki. And I have my uh, Morphe Continu Continuous Setting Spray. So Morphe does a nice little... Cheat. I don't want to waste it because I love it, and it was ten dollars. This stuff right here, this is what I use when I'm just setting my eye makeup, and that's just a normal spritz. It's I'm almost out. Gotta get some more. Um, Koki actually is something new that I'm that I've tried, or I'm trying, um, and it's the same, just a nice little fine mist. This, however, what is that? And it just drops. If you put that on non smudge proof, non waterproof makeup, that is going to get insane. So I'm going to try to switch the things. Does anybody else have this problem? I mean, no, it's even, oh, there it goes. And. It's so weird because I literally switched the nozzle and it just... Okay. Oh, they are different nozzle types, so... Okay. I don't know. Ooh. Uh But this, the setting spray on my arm is not going anywhere. It literally... it Then that's cokey. So, um, yeah, that's probably what I'll be using. I use this simply because I needed a setting spray because I couldn't find any at the time and I wanted to try it I haven't actually been able to that was the first time today that I tried it and it looked like I was crying and I was like oh no that's not okay so um, let me know down in the comments if anybody else has that problem with this I mean I'll just once one of them is done I'll probably just take the cokey and switch off the nozzles but um, I was really I was really upset that that happened, so, um, by the way, why is all setting sprays in black packaging? Anyways, guys, that is it. I just wanted to talk about the Wet n Wild, uh, palettes right here, and these quads right here, and give you my opinions on them, a better opinions than my first impressions, um, and I have been wearing these, all of these, for... A while now I have been doing things I've been running around I took my dogs for a walk I uh, did some I made a sandwich I ate the sandwich that's why I have no lipstick on but uh, like I haven't done like any exercise or anything like that because I don't exercise so uh, that is that leave a comment down below and let's talk about wet and wild alright guys I love you, and I'll see you in my very next video. Bye!